this is Prodeca Outlaw SS bike bicycle and uh, I have already made reviews on Strom ST1 Platinum, Evelo and Isaac by electrical bicycles. I will compare Outlaw SS to those ones. I will start from good size of it. I think uh, this bicycle is better than Stromer ST1 Platinum in on average. However, Stromer costs twice more than Prodeco. It is a more powerful, more stable ride, more comfortable for commuting, and accelerates faster. It is better than uh, it doesn't have three shift gears in the middle of the bike like in Stromer. Uh, because middle shift gears they prevent uh, shifting from low to high fast enough you don't really need that much speeds on electrical bicycles because because uh, electrical motor it helps you to accelerate uh, e-bikes don't need more than three to five gears in my opinion SS outlaw gears ratio is appropriate for 28 miles an hour I saw a problem with the top gear on I cycle e-bicycle it um, I had to pay pedal too fast on the top gear on the end on the top speed and uh, strummer and SS outlaw doesn't have such problem also I enjoy thick tires because uh, they give better stability better grip with the surface especially when making turns they make the ride smoother and uh, front suspension is must for commuter bikes but uh, this bicycle has uh, too big shifting suspension and uh, I think it's just unnecessary it would be nice if it would be just maybe half half of its uh, size of shifting anyway uh, there is a trend uh, among e-bike manufacturers to install carbon fiber fork without suspension and I don't like that. Most roads are not perfect and uh, if you go over the road, railroad tracks, on strong ST1 platinum I feel like my teeth to fall out and, and the handbar almost falls out of my hands. And uh, sometimes uh, I need to steer with one hand and uh, no suspension makes it very difficult. There's another thing I have um, average body and uh, I have a problem with this trauma being too short for me and on uh, this bicycle it feels comfortable so it's long enough it's longer than uh, stroma and it's make comfortable for average man but uh, if it is uh, if somebody has more than larger than average body I think Stroma Platinum would be too short for them. Also, SS Prodeco have better, better braking setup because the weight is shifted to the back because of the battery. It helps to stabilize uh, the bicycle when you're braking. For example, on uh, Stroma Platinum, when you brake, it feels that uh, you will overflip if you will brake more and um, this bicycle doesn't have this such problem and um, however there are some negative things about this bicycle uh, like handbars also they are leather but they're circular it's not very comfortable for a long ride Stroma Platinum has much better hand grips it's more like a paddle so it covers, supports more surface of your hand and the Prodeca doesn't. Also, uh, if you look on the handbar, you will see that Prodeca has uh, mixed up uh, left uh, gear shifter. Looks like they picked up a uh, pre-manufactured setup and um, they had to install it on a different side, which makes it to be upside down. And um, however, it's not a really big problem. Also, I don't like the huge the look of the front. It looks like uh, it's more like a motorcycle. And uh, my 
feeling I wanted to be looking more like a normal bicycle so that it wouldn't um, draw attention. There is another important drawback is that SS Outlaw supposedly, supposedly should be given 17 to 20 miles range. However, on my right test it gave me only 10 miles. So it died on 10th mile. However, I rode at full throttle on the bike trail with, with a few stops and um, you see it gave much less much less than it was supposed to. However, Storm uh, Platinum has longer range. That probably explains uh, by the capacity of the batteries. Perdeka has 9 amps and the Storm Platinum has 14 amps. However, they weigh about the same. Subscribe to my channel and um, look forward uh, for the next review of Grace Easy S Pedalic bicycle from Germany. I should have it uh, this month. So sub sub subscribe and um, wait.